Welcome back. This is part two of creating a chain link. So let's continue. Now while it's like this, we shall enlarge and I shall apply the same material that I applied to the donut. And now you shall see the material follows around nicely and you get no stretching or distortion of the material. That is why we do it this way. Now, what we do now is we unselect, we go up to the mirror option, and what we want to do is select copy. Now, to make life easier, there's a few options in the mirror section here x axis, y axis, z axis but you can't see it happening there so we go cancel come across here to hierarchy leave pivot selected, go effect pivot only come down here and go center to object and it brings the pivot to the center of the object we're working on we unselect that and we go back to the modify section go back to the mirror section and now we can see it clearly what's happening if we bring that down there x-axis y-axis z-axis on this one the z-axis is exactly the same as what we've got and we've got the compound ones here with the x and y-axis together y-z-axis Z and X axis. Now the X and Y seem to be the one we want, so we select that and we'll go copy. Say OK. Now we move this along and we match it just a overlap it overlaps a fraction of the previous. Let's center to stage, do a quick render. Now it's a full chain link. But at the moment it is still two separate items. Now we come down here and we go attach. We go to the unselected, select. Now it is part of this one and we deselect attach. And we've got a nice idea. We go back to hierarchy, effect pivot. Now, what we want to do is align the pivot to here, and you shall see in a bit why. And let's first center to object so we make sure it's center to the up and down and then we drag it across uh, let's try it there now while it's in that we go mirror again and we can see straight away what we get and this time, for visual aid, I shall go instance. Although copy is what we want, I shall use instance so I can show you what the instance and the reference both do. Now while it's selected, because it is on the reference or the instance of this one, if I go and let's say do that what would happens to the other one it's a mirror instance of the other one so what you do to one will happen to the other anything you do will be mirrored on the other one because it is an instance 
if you don't want if you want to have one that changes all it is handy if you've got hundreds of the same item and you want to make sure that all are the same and you have to change one but yet change them all it's best to use instances but in this case it's better to use a copy only but this will do fine while this one is selected we go up to the rotate tool and right click on it which will still select it but at the same time bring up the extra window this is world dimensions and these are the offset dimensions what we want to do is check which way it's turning yep that's the one we want Let's say 90 degrees we can close that if we go into 3d view and auto all bring in that one here we go we've got our chain links and while it's in there we can finally adjust where we want to put it so it looks better and if we do a render we have our chain links interlinking and the rendering is nice and clean and the material is coming out nicely and that is how to do the chain link the correct way hope that helps and hope that you've learned another tool using the modify the edit poly the uniform scale rotate right click for selection and any other tools that may have come in handy today thank you for watching and hope it helps enjoy